Hello, everybody. Hey, how you doing, sir? We're going to shake. Wait, I'm shaking your hand right now. You stay, honey. I'm going to shake. Ron Todd Summit. I run your Corps of Engineers. That's right. It's an important one, right? Go ahead here, sir. Hey, Glad to have you down. I'm Todd Semin, and I run the Corps of Engineers. So. Well, she's glad to have you down here, so you can see everything that's going on. Wanted right to be here. here. Very important. I work for your husband, okay? He's doing a great job. Yeah, of course, a great job. Well, we're so excited to have you over here. Thank you, please sit down. Well, thank you very much. It's, uh, it was a great trip and a beautiful place. I've been to Puerto Rico many times, as I think most of you have known, and uh, I've always loved it. And your weather is second to none, but every once in a while you get hit. And you really got hit. There's no question about it. Uh, I want to thank uh, in particular, some of the folks that have come here where really great danger was involved right at the beginning. I, I have to start with Brock. Where's Brock? Brock, Brock Long has been uh, through a lot. We gave him an A-plus in Texas. We thought he could rest for a couple of days. But before he got any rest, he had Florida, right? And you had Louisiana, and you had other places. But And by the way, Louisiana, we don't say it often, but Louisiana got hit very hard also, and they've been fantastic. But then he came to Florida, and that we gave him another A+. Plus, and then all of a sudden, we said, there's another one heading out to Puerto Rico and to the U.S. Virgin Islands. And But it wasn't one, it was two. And I was going to be here a week ago, if you remember. And that was the day of the hurricane. That was the day of the second hurricane. So uh, Brock has been unbelievable. And this has been the toughest one. This has been a Category 5, which few people have ever even heard of, a Category 5 hitting land, but it hit land, and boy, did it hit land. So uh, I want to thank you. I want to thank Elaine. Elaine, thank you very much. Fantastic acting secretary. Uh, Elaine Duke has been incredible. Tom Bossert's here someplace. Tom, great job. Great job. And to all of my people, and I have to say General Buchanan got here a few days ago, and there's no doubt about it, you are a general. There's a reason you're a general, right? But uh, he's, he's no games. That's what I said, give me a general. I don't want to have any, I don't want to have a general that plays games. And uh, you've done a fantastic job. The whole team has been amazing. Your governor has been who I didn't know. I heard very good things about him. He's not even from my party. And he started right at the beginning appreciating what, he, what we did. And uh, he was tremendously supportive. And he knew the level of, of problem that you had at the beginning before and the level what happened with respect to the tremendous storms that hit your beautiful island. And, Governor, I just want to tell you that right from the beginning, this governor did not play politics. He didn't play it at all. He was saying it like it was, and he was giving us the highest grades. And I want to, on behalf of our country, I want to thank you. It was really amazing. I also, I also want to thank your Congresswoman, who actually represents the largest number of people of any Congressperson in the United States. I know that. It's three and a half million people, Jennifer, right? So Congresswoman Jennifer Gonzalez Colon, who I've uh, watched the other day, and she was saying 
such nice things about all of the people that have worked so hard. Jennifer, do you think you could say a little bit what you said about us uh, today? And it's not about me. It's about these incredible people from the military to FEMA, the first responders. I mean, I've never seen people working so hard in my life. Perhaps you could say? Thank you, Mr. President. Congresswoman. Thank you, Mr. President. The first thing is that uh, before we were hit by Maria, we were hit by uh, Hurricane Irma. And during that time, before the hurricane, he was FEMA acting together with a lot of employees. More than 4,000 people were here in the island from the different uh, branches of the military. HHS, Navy, Army, uh, FEMA, and all the staff working together before the hurricane hit. They were here before, during, after the first hurricane, and they continued to stay in the island, boots on the ground, during Maria. Same thing. I think we never got the, the, the level of communication between the federal government and the local government like never before. And we are in the path of the hurricane. So we are used to receiving hurricanes, but never before a category five. The amount of devastation, it's unheard of. But during all this time, we got the federal government by our side, doing the job with the people here, like you in the military, doing all that has been asked, all the questions and, and requests that the governor did. The president and his cabinet uh, accomplish it and send more people, and it's continued to send in more people, trucks, drivers, and resources. Thank you, Mr. President, for all you've been doing for the island. Well, I want to thank you, because you were really generous. And, and I saw those comments, and everybody saw those comments, and we really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's so important when you have men and women that have worked so hard and so long, and many of them came from two other catastrophic hurricanes. I mean, they came from Texas, they came from Louisiana, they came from Florida, and there was no, how many nights rest have you gotten? Zero in the last month, all right? This is day 43. Yeah, all right. Well, we're going to keep them for another couple of weeks, and by that time, I think, you know, but we, come here. Special guy, I will tell you, special. Really good. Really good. I, I also, uh, in addition to Tom, I also want to thank Linda McMahon, small business. I always joke, I said she's in charge of small business, but small business is massive business when you add it all up. And she has done an incredible job, built a great company with her husband, Vince McMahon. And I wanted her so badly for this position because there's nobody that knows how to build a company like those. And let me tell you, like this woman, she has been uh, amazing in business and now she's doing an incredible job as the administrator. We want to thank you, Linda, very much. And Mick Mulvaney is here right there. And Mick is uh, in charge of a thing called budget. Now, I hate to tell you, Puerto Rico, but you've thrown our budget a little out of whack because we've spent a lot of money on Puerto Rico, and that's fine. We've saved a lot of lives. If you look at the uh, — every death is a horror. But if you look at a real catastrophe like Katrina, and you look at the tremendous hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that died, and you look at what happened here with really a storm that was just — totally overpowering. Nobody's ever seen anything like this. And what is your what is your death count as of this moment? 17? 16 certified. 16 people certified. 16 people versus in the thousands. Uh, you can be very proud of all of your people, all of our people working together. 16 versus literally thousands of people. Uh, you can be very proud. Everybody around this table and everybody watching can really be very proud of what's taken place in Puerto Rico. Uh, I also want to pay a very special thanks to the Navy. Uh, who's here from the Navy? Who do we have, General? Who do we have? What a job. So you have ships all over the place. I saw them flying in. I said, boy, this looks like very big stuff. And the job you've done getting things here, there are no docks. There have been. We're just in the process of opening them up. They were just devastated. But there are no docks, no nothing. And the way you got this stuff on shore is incredible. So I want to thank the Navy. Would you like to say something on behalf of the Navy? Sir, so your Navy Marine Corps team is here to respond on the expeditionary strike group two. We're immediately deployed with four Navy ships to get here and handle anything that happened in Burma and then immediately reposition and was able to respond to Puerto Rico right after Maria. So the Navy Marine Corps team was happy to come here and save lives 
and coordinate with the, with the governor of Puerto Rico and to, and to demonstrate our ability to come from the sea, air, and land. Thank you very much, Walter. Thank you, and thank you very much. And you know, I don't have to even mention the Marines because we have General Kelly. Where's General Kelly? Where is our General Kelly? He likes to keep a low profile. Look at him sitting in the back. But boy, is he watching. You have no idea how he's... General Kelly, come up here. So General Kelly's a four-star. Not a bad general, right? You don't get any better than General Kelly. But uh, on behalf of the Marines, I'll tell you, they've done some job, General. Now, can we also mention Army? And can we also mention some people that I really got to know and respect even more in Texas? And that's the Coast Guard. What a job the Coast Guard has done throughout this whole I mean, they would go right into the middle of that. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be doing it, but I want to thank everybody. I want to thank the Coast Guard. They are special, special, very brave people. And uh, a lot of people got to see the real Coast Guard during this incredible trouble. And especially, I think, here and in Texas was incredible what they did. So thank you all very much. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Would you like to say something on behalf of your men and women? So I'm, I'm representing the Air Force. No, I know that. I know. No, it's been a tremendous team effort partnering uh, with FEMA and uh, Northcom, providing support to all the opponents, but then also uh, to the U.S. Virgin Islands and then to Puerto Rico specifically, trying to open up the airfields so that we could get as an island to get the majority of the supplies in initially with the people and personnel setting up across the island so we can set up those logistic networks so we can really get to the people that are the most hurt and devastated by the past few days. And the runways now are pretty open. Yes, sir. We got uh, major, four major runways that are fully open and operational. We've flown about 700 plus uh, strategic airlift sorties to and from the Conus here on the island of Puerto Rico uh, to provide life sustaining uh, support. It's an amazing job. It's an yeah. amazing job. So amazing that we're ordering hundreds of millions of dollars worth of new airplanes for the Air Force, especially the F 35. Do you like the F 35? It's a game changing, technological, awesome airplane. I said, how does it do it in fights? And how do they do in fights with the F-35? He said, we do very well. You can't see it. You literally, you can't see it. So it's hard to fight a plane that you can't see, right? Sure, we like that. But that's an expensive plane that you can't see. <laughs> and as you probably heard, we cut the price very substantially, something that other administrations would never have done, that I can tell you. So uh, thank you very much. Where is the Coast Guard? Who can speak on behalf of the Coast Guard? Oh. Who can you. speak? Where is our Coast Guard representative? Come here, get over here. Come here. Come here, my man. On behalf of the Coast Guard, just say a few words. People have been amazing. Go ahead. I don't think there's anything that the men and women of the Coast Guard would rather do than help the people of Puerto Rico, our fellow American citizens. For us, this is what we get to do on a daily basis, and getting to help our, our fellow citizens is just what our, our duty is all about. So. It's our pleasure to be here, sir. Well, you know, in Texas, it came in, it did devastation, then went right out into the coast, then it came in and out. It came in three times. It would load up with water and come in. Nobody's ever seen water like that. And the Coast Guard would follow it. It goes in, and they'd be right behind it, and then they'd move. They saved 16,000 lives in Texas. 16, sure. hard to believe. 16 between the helicopters and all of them, but the Coast Guard itself saved, in Texas, 16,000 lives. And they went right through that hurricane, and there aren't too many people that would have done it, believe me. Would you thank everybody for yes, me? Yes, sir. Okay? Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Abs say a few words. Please, say a few words. Customs and Border Protection. Say a few words, please. Don't be shy. Uh, what, what I would like to do, you want to stand up? Go ahead. That's okay. Stand up. Go ahead. Okay. She's only three years. Okay. Uh, you did a great job. Senator, I, I just want to also add uh, Rick Perry is here someplace, Rick. Governor of Texas for many years, 14 years, did a great job. Head of Energy. And Scott Pruitt from Environmental is here. And uh, 
doing an amazing, really an amazing job. We appreciate it, fellas. Thank you very much. Governor, would you say a few words? Of course. Uh, well, first of all, Mr. President, thank you for being here. Uh, your presence over here, cabinet members, uh, support the notion that we've been talking about, that this is a united effort. This is a united effort. Uh, we need to work together in order to overcome the many challenges that we had here in Puerto Rico. I want to personally thank you, Mr. President, because you know, over the course of the past week, you have called essentially every day to make sure that we have what we need, make sure that the resources are over here. And I want to let the people of Puerto Rico and the people of the United States know that you have always responded to us. And although this is a big challenge, we are convinced that working together with our local government, FEMA, uh, the administrator, the DOD, and all of the assets we have here, it is a challenging time. We need to do more, but we will be able to build Puerto Rico stronger than ever before. That is our commitment. I just wanted uh, to let you know that right now our forces are working so that they can deliver food, water uh, to the people of Puerto Rico, so that diesel and fuel can get to the hospitals. Now, it is a challenging time. It is a situation without precedent, but with strong leadership, with your continued support, Mr. President, with the continued support of everybody around this table, the mayors that have played a critical role in this uh, development, our legislature that has been helpful, and all of the assets in government. I can tell you, Mr. President, that we will not only come out of this, we will stabilize Puerto Rico, and we will build it stronger than ever. Thank you so Thank much. You, Thank you. God bless. Thank you, everybody. And uh, we're going to make some tours now. If anybody has any questions or statements or anything, I know we have a lot of powerful people, a lot of your heads of your Senate, the heads of your everything. And uh, it's an honor to work with you folks, and we'll all get it done together. So I appreciate your support, and I know you appreciate our support, because uh, our country's really gone all out to help. And uh, it's not only dangerous, it's expensive, it's everything, but uh, I consider it a great honor, maybe because I know so many people from Puerto Rico that are such great people. I come from New York, but uh, we've gone all out, and I consider that, again, a great honor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay. Thank you all. Let's go make a uh, — let's go see what we have. Let's go. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>